Hey everybody, it's Dina Rico with the Creativity Cave. I have a great project for you today and I hope you're gonna like it. It uses the Count My Blessing stamp sets along with the sentiment from Paisley's and Posies, the Thankful Grateful Blessed. So, oh my gosh, I love this card, the stamp set. These beautiful line art images are perfect to use with our new Stampin' Blends. So let me show you how easy it is to create this card. I'm using the olive combo of blends, the uh, darker color of Pool Party, and then the two uh, colors of Bermuda Bay, plus the surprise color, which is actually the light pumpkin pie, which I think kind of looks like peekaboo peach, but I won't tell anybody. Okay, so let me show you how easy this card comes together. First of all, we need to grab our stamp. <laughs> I'm going to take this stamp and um, whenever I use my Stampin' Blends, I want to use my Memento ink. So I've got my Memento ink pad and my piece of cardstock. Now the other thing you want to do whenever working with blends is to protect your work surface because it uh, will bleed through your cardstock. Even the ultra thick cardstock, or uh, the thick ultra smooth cardstock will bleed a little bit just uh, I had some things sitting in my chair and I was moving them because I like to sit when I color with my Stampin' Blends. Okay, so first off, I'm going to stamp my image right on here in my Memento ink, and I want to give it a good chance to dry. So I'm actually going to set that aside for just a second, and then we'll stamp our sentiment as well. Again, that sentiment came from the Paisley's and Posies um, stamp set. I will stamp it in the sentiment in Bermuda Bay ink. Okay. So I like to, now my piece of cardstock here is pretty small, so pardon my head. I'm sticking my butt way out so that I can stamp this nice and straight on this little skinny piece of paper. And look at how perfect that is. That's what happens when you stick your butt out. Good things. <laughs> You did not hear me say that, especially when it comes to my daughter. She's 16. She should not be sticking her butt out. But stampers, yes. Okay. Now, I think I'm ready to start coloring on here. I'm going to start with my, um, my stems. Goodness, words are sometimes hard, especially when the video camera is rolling. So I'm going to use my light color, and I'm just going to carefully color in here. Now one thing I've noticed with my blends is that when I'm coloring, especially things um, that I want to stay within the lines, I'm careful to go just inside that edge of the line, meaning I don't want to go um, right up to the very edge. I want to stay just inside and that will keep things from bleeding on me. That happens when you get a lot of ink, especially when you start blending. So I covered it all with my light ink. Then I'm going to take the bullet end of my darker olive and I'm just going to color in a little bit on those areas where you can see there's some shading in the stamp image. The images are so awesome because they help cheat for us. They give us the, um, the places where we should have darker coloring. And I'll just do a little bit on those two little leaves up there. Now, if I wanted to blend this uh, over, I could just go in over, right over the top with my marker. And then what happens here when you go over things, the ink does spread a little bit. And so it will blend out and fill in those areas. And you can see you get nice blending. Um, let me give you an idea of what I mean by the ink blends. Turn it, that is the second time today I've dropped a cap on my floor. So I just put, have placed my dot on here and you can see how the ink is spreading out. That's what the dot normally looks like. And when you hold it, it just spreads. So you don't want to do that on your project because of course, when you go outside the lines, that might not be the look you're going for. Okay, I found my cap. All right, now the next thing that I'm going to do is work on my flower part. So for this, I'm going to work from 
light to dark. Sometimes, often, I like to work from dark to light, but in this case, I want to make sure I really control how much dark that I'm getting on here. So I'm going to start with my light color first. So I've got the darker shade of Pool Party. And I'm just going to kind of go over. Again, I'm going very careful to just not quite go up to the line on my image with my marker because I know it will spread when I start blending. Okay, and like, well, I'll start with one flower and then we'll move to the other. Okay, so that was the darker shade of Pool Party. Then we'll come in with the light shade of Bermuda. And again, just like we did on the leaves, we're gonna color in some of these areas where the shading is done. I also know that I want the base of my petals to have a little bit more color. So I'll kind of add some color to the base. Okay. And the other thing I will say is I, I know every time I color, I get a little different look. So that's just kind of part of the process. Now I've really taken to using the bullet end on the details, especially with the darkest colors. I feel like I have just a little bit more control with that bullet end of my marker. And you can see I'm just kind of going over the areas once more and creating that darker shaded look. But then I'm gonna come back to my lightest color and kind of go over and definitely blend things out just a little bit. Okay, and then finally, I have one more thing that I'm going to do, and that is I'm gonna bring in my color lifter. Now this is clear ink, <coughs> excuse me, and it kind of gives highlights. So I'm actually gonna kind of go up in the light areas and color in, and it kind of gives you one extra shade of coloring. It also will help you remove any mistakes that you might have made, and there we go. So I like the look of that. Um, on my second flower, again, I'm gonna pay close attention to those colors, and I will come back and finish this first flower. I'm not quite done with it. Close, but not quite. Okay, so I did my light colors. I was light to the touch. Likewise, I'm gonna do my medium color here with the lighter Bermuda Bay marker. And then I'll finish it up with my nice dark Bermuda Bay marker. Okay. And then of course we're gonna add some highlights. And again, I'm gonna use the bullet tip here for those highlights. Okay, last thing, I'm going to take my Peekaboo Peach light marker, or I'm sorry, it's not Peekaboo Peach, it's pumpkin pie, but it looks like Peekaboo Peach, the light version does, I think. And I'm just going to draw little circles around each of these little stamen. So I'm, I mean, I'm sort of coloring them, they're solid as they are. So I'm just going to kind of go a little bit around each one to give it a little halo so it looks like it's colored in. And I love that look. I love adding that extra kind of contrasting color. Okay, so my coloring is done, and you can see on the back it definitely bled through. So that's why we protect our work surface. Now to finish this card up, it's so easy. All I've done is taken and lined this with a piece of Bermuda Bay so I really get that nice striking contrast color. I'll adhere that to my little piece of cardstock. All the dimensions for these will be on my blog. And then I've taken and embossed um, this with the polka dot embossing folder. I thought that kind of went with the polka dotted centers here. And I will actually, um, it's kind of, this is funny. So when I originally made this card, I thought, gosh, this seems a little small. And then I realized that it was the wrong size of cardstock that I was starting with. But then I just lined it on a quarter sheet of pear pizzazz and I liked the look. So I went with it. Why not? All right. I'll just adhere this right to my card 
in the center and then I'm gonna pop up my sentiment from earlier and I think it's such a simple card it's so fun to color with my blends it's so relaxing I love uh, stamping up a bunch of images and then just taking them um, on the couch and watching a movie with my family they can watch their superheroes. I can color my cards. So it's awesome. So anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me. If you need any of the supplies to make this gorgeous card, please check out my online store. All the links to the products I used are in the description of this video, or you can head on over to my blog and they're linked there as well. Thank you again for stamping with me. And I really appreciate your business. It helps me bring more awesome videos just like this to you each week. Thanks guys. Bye-bye.